Welcome to the iPhone Builder Smart Table Search feature. The Smart Table Search feature allows you to perform a local search on any data table or in simpler terms, a form. Ideally, the data column that you perform a search on should contain a unique value such as a social security number or a phone number. In this example, we will utilize the Smart Table Search feature to search a local table that will contain a unique value, which in this case is a phone number. What we are setting out to do in this example is to set up a form where people who are attending a convention can register for the event by simply entering in their phone number. Once the phone number has been entered, the rest of the person's information, such as their name and address, will automatically be filled in. This happens because the Smart Table Search feature will look in the specified data table and pull that person's information over to the form based on the phone number entered. Now let's take a look on how we set this feature up. In order for this feature to work, two separate forms must be created. In this example, we will name the first form Registration DB. This first form will house the convention attendees data and will be the table that is called upon when we enable the Smart Table Search feature in the second table. It is important to remember the table name as it will be needed to set up the Smart Table Search in the second form. Because we need to have a unique value in this form, we have chosen the phone number. Within this form, we will also include the name and address of the attendee. In addition to remembering the form name, please also write down the input element data column names for each of these elements as they will be needed in the second form to fully set up the Smart Table Search. Now that we have set up the first form that will house the information for our table search feature, we must next build the second table. This table is very important because this is where the Smart Table Search feature is actually enabled. As you can see here, we have created a form that looks almost identical to the first form, except we put the phone number widget at the top. The reason for this is because the form will be used by the convention attendees when they come to sign in. So, by putting the phone number at the top, the attendees can simply enter the phone number and the rest of the info will be automatically filled in for them. First, give your table name a meaningful name. So, in this case, we named it registration underscore form. Next, add the two input elements that correspond to the first form, which are name and address. Now, since we chose the phone number to be our unique value and link back to the registration underscore DB table, we must enter the first table's name and information into the Smart Table Search tab. The table name, as shown before, is the name of the first table created, which is registration underscore DB. The column name, or better known as the data column name, is phone underscore number, which is the same name of the data column we created for the phone number widget in the registration underscore DB table. Now in order for the data from the first table to be brought over to this table and automatically filled in after the attendee enters his or her phone number, we must enter in the first table's table name as well as the first table's data column name we are linking back to. So for the name widget, the dynamic value would be registration underscore db dot name. The registration underscore db text is referring back to the registration underscore db table and the dot name text is referring back to the data column name of the input element that contains the name of the convention attendee. Without referring back to the table name and the data column name of the registration underscore db table, the elements in this form will not be automatically populated with the data from the registration underscore db table. For this address input element, we simply repeat the steps just covered except instead of registration underscore db dot name, we would enter registration underscore db dot address. Save and resync your device. Now that both tables have been made, the last step is to populate the registration underscore db table with data using the client. Open up iForm and enter the registration underscore db form. Fill out all the fields, hit done, and upload the new records to the server. Resync your device one more time in order to download the record back to the device. This occurs because we enabled the smart table search feature a few minutes ago. Now open up the registration underscore form form and type in the phone number you entered in the registration underscore dot db form a few moments ago. 
As you can see, once the phone number has been entered, the attendee's name and address is automatically populated. Go to form assignment, unassign the registration underscore dot DB form, and you now have yourself a working sign-in form that saves people a lot of time.